Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticket symbol HCMC. So in this video, I want to cover a few things. Firstly, I want to talk about whether or not the judge actually owns shares in Philip Morris and what that means for us. Then I want to talk about maybe a misunderstanding that could have happened prior to yesterday's video, as I talked about how appeal is obviously good for us. Now, HCMC did end up 17.5% higher today. However, may, may, it may have caused that misunderstanding where everyone thought HCMC is going to end a lot higher. So I just want to clear up that potential misunderstanding if there was any. And then later on at the end of the video, towards the end, I want to really want to give my own thought about HCMC. This is something I haven't done in a very long time and I really just feel like everyone should hear it. So make sure you stick until the end of the video. As always guys, show support for HCMC by smashing that like button down below. This is not financial advice, take them off sacred so make sure you do your own due diligence and research. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So let's clear up firstly in terms of the judge corruption. Now, I've covered about this before, but recently I've been seeing more and more people talk about it. And there's articles flying around where pretty much what they're saying is that Judge Batten owns shares in Philip Morris. Now, I personally haven't found any articles that have said this. If you guys do have links or do know where to find it, make sure to leave a comment down below. But comment down below either way if you guys think Judge Batten owns shares in Philip Morris. But essentially, what I've seen is pretty much a screenshot, but only of certain sections where it says you know, um, about how Timothy Batten, you know, owns shares and had occurred cases in which they held a financial interest. Now, this particular case is actually with having owned shares of JP Morgan Chase & Co. in 2010 and 2011. So this is the actual article that I've seen flying around. But what they've done is they cut off the JP Morgan and Chase & Co. Now, I am not confirmed nor denying the fact that Judge Batten may own potentially own shares of Philip Morris. That is not what I'm saying. You know, who knows? What I am saying is that obviously I want to give you guys the most correct information out there to make sure you guys don't obviously fall under that misconception, misunderstanding. You know, if you think that, because this is something that will obviously play a big part. If Judge Batten definitely owns a share in Philip Morris, it will obviously would create a controversy and there will be things coming out of it. But I just want to make sure that everyone really understands what is going on and what the actual information is. Now, again, if you guys have seen different articles where it actually talks about the judge owning shares in Philip Morris, again, make sure to comment down below because then, again, that's the correct information I want to give you guys. But so far, you know, I'm seeing some of the screenshots online that's flying around. Essentially, what they say is they just put pretty much right now, you know, this first kind of section and they didn't put the fact that he owns shares in JP Morgan Chase & Co. There is some screenshots that actually shows this as well. So I'm not saying all people are cutting this out, but I feel like some people are misusing this information. And if you guys just take off what maybe Twitter, Reddit or whatever says, then you might actually think that he owns shares. Again, you know, not confirming, not denying, this is just potential. Now, this is what I want to clear up so I hope everyone understands this. Now, the second thing I want to talk about and really cover is the possible misunderstanding that could have happened yesterday. Now, yesterday I talked about how an appeal for HMC is obviously extremely very good. Before we get further into this, if I did create a misunderstanding, I just want to deeply apologize. As always, guys, I want to make sure I give you guys the best information and the most easy information to understand. So, you know, I would apologize if I create misunderstandings. But what it is, is an appeal is obviously good for HMC. You can already see some sort of effect. Now, it's obviously barcoding anyway, so this could just be done naturally. But nevertheless, we did end up 17.5% higher. However, the reason why this appeal has not made HMC really skyrocket is the fact that an appeal is not guaranteed. And just because HMC appealed doesn't mean that HMC will continue, you know, the judge will pass this through. There are obviously many different processes, many different factors that you have to consider. And so that's why HMC won't skyrocket due to the fact they submitted an appeal. At what point would they, you know, skyrocket? At what point would they actually reap the benefit of this appeal? That'll be when, you know, the, all everything is done and the judge passes on the appeal and says, we can start this case again. At that point, that will be when the appeal, you know, that will be when really the capital, the, you know, the benefit really comes in for HMC. So I really want everyone to understand that. Whilst an appeal is good, it's only the first, 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 first mini step for HMC because it doesn't actually give any definitive, you know, answer to whether or not HMC will have a big catalyst in the short term. And so again, we got to really watch out for, you know, this could take up to a year, this could maybe not, it really depends. But when, 
you actually want to see the result, the benefit, the after effect of this appeal. It will be when we actually get something beneficial for us, where it's definitive saying HMC can go back and call, or you know the judge is more willing to accept this appeal, stuff like that. Something that's actually definitive. So I want everyone just to really understand that. Again, if I cause any, mis any misunderstandings, I deeply apologize. And you know, again, I'll make sure that I won't try and make. I hope it was a misunderstanding, but if it was, then obviously that is something I do want to clear up. And you know, ultimately. If we link it with the judge, you know, obviously if the judge had a financial interest, a financial conflict of Philip Morris and HMC, then, you know, we could even see more benefits come towards us, which could really get the case started again. Now, again, nothing's for certain, nothing's for sure, but that is something obviously that will play into our part. And so that's the two things I do want to talk about in this video, but now I really want to talk about my own thoughts as I feel like that is quite important. And really it's just to talk about, you know, everyone's been here for a very long time. And, you know, at this point we are obviously seeing HMC down, but what do I really think of it? What do I really want to get out of HMC? Well, firstly, you know, I've been making HMC videos for quite a long time now. I want to say half a year or even more. For everyone who stuck around for this long, thank you very much if you have made it up until this part of the video. Again, thank you very much. You know, I couldn't have done anything without you guys. You guys have helped me out a lot. A lot of people give me comments, give me suggestions on how to improve. But for HMC, obviously the first thing is that I want everyone to benefit. I want everyone to profit so much from HMC. But do I think it's going to grow? You know, if someone asked me, honest talk, do you think HMC is going to grow? I definitely think so. You know, we've covered so many things about HMC in terms of the patent in terms of the money that they have right now for a small company that they are. And in terms of, you know, the vaping industry that is growing at 26.7% compound annual growth rate, we're talking about the cannabis industry, which, you know, no confirmed date, but as we progress into the future, it's just more and more likely that cannabis will be legalized at a federal level. And if something like that happened, it will obviously play a huge part for HMC. And so, you know, whilst not speculating on something like a lawsuit where the result is obviously not you know guaranteed i do want to speculate on the fact that firstly cannabis could be legalized because that's something not just for hmc but for the whole us you know and so there is bigger reason to speculate that this could happen but also the fact that the fact the vaping industry is meant to grow at this rate hmc could also jump on this and grow at the same rate or an even bigger rate and so Again, you know, there are multiple reasons which leads me to believe that HMC will be a company that grows well. If you really think about it, you know, they're a company with $28 million. Now, if HMC were to drop down to 0 0.001, I wouldn't even be worried because again, I've talked about this multiple times, is that HMC can obviously buy back shares at 0 0.001. If anything, it will be more beneficial for them to buy back shares at 0 0.001 because when they do, and then they announce a buyback that they've done the buyback. If they were to talk about 50, 60, 70% buyback, this will cause so many investors to jump onto HMC that actually you could see HMC jump down to jump up to 0 0.0012 or even higher. Again, depending on the amount of shares they buy back and depending on, you know, what investors want to see, you know, because then they could decide to retire shares. Now, if they buy back 70% and retire, say 20%, it won't play a huge effect, but if they buy back 70% and retire 50%, that will obviously be a massive effect. And if they buy back 70% and they retire 70%, that will also have, you know, the biggest impact on HMC. And so, you know, we are watching out for factors like this. And, you know, this this would be the biggest speculation out of the all. But something that I think is a just a long-term growth will be, you know, cannabis will be the vaping industry. Would I say it's speculation? You know, everything can be a speculation, but... It's like talking about, you know, you invested in Tesla because of the fact that you think that renewable energy will be something huge in the future. Because there was reports back in the days about how obviously, and everyone understand that oil is going to run out at one point and everyone's focusing on renewable energy. And this is pretty much the same thing. You know, cigarette is doing more and more harm. The FDA themselves want to remove cigarettes and want people to move on to vaping. And so, you know, this just really plays into part. Now, renewable energy and obviously vaping are different things. But the fact that FDA wants for people to move from cigarettes into healthier alternatives, and that's exactly what HMC aims to provide, you know, that itself should play a powerful role for HMC. And again, I don't really see much companies out there who are, you know, saying that their slogan is to make a healthy alternative. Obviously, they don't want to be innovative. They want to make more products, but not really a firm is out there to try and focus on things that will be more healthy. You know, there are firms out there who 
whilst being innovative, whilst inventing things, just happen to make it healthy. But their main focus is to obviously make a better product, a product that can sell more, that can bring them more revenue. Whereas HMC is more focused on how can I make this product more healthy? And in return, I do think that maybe right now, everyone may not see the potential, but in the future, you know, FDA will probably go more and more, you know, strict and just have a stronger thought in terms of healthier products. And that's why, again, this is not financial advice. This is my personal opinion of why HMC can do well. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you guys next time.